If you're in your first microeconomics class, I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're learning about monopolies right now. I wrote out here four core things that I make sure you know before your final exam, and I'm gonna spend the next four days going over them. Starting with why the marginal revenue curve for monopolies is downward sloping, comparative to perfectly competitive markets where it's horizontal. In those perfectly competitive markets, the firms are price takers. They've got no market power because there's infinite firms selling the exact same product. But with monopolies, they're the only firm in the market. So they're price makers in the sense that they they can set the price for the market depending on how many units they output. Because how many units they output determine where we lie on the demand curve, aka the willingness to pay for consumers. So what I've done here is I've mapped out three of the core curves for monopolies, marginal cost, average total cost, and demand. And I want us to assess how total revenue for this monopoly changes at each unit of output here depending on the price that we're setting. So at one unit, we're gonna sell at the price of $10 and in turn incur a total revenue of $10, meaning that our marginal revenue for that first unit is $10. That's easy enough, nothing too crazy. For the second unit, we're selling at a price of $9 and therefore have a total revenue of 18 bucks. So to compute marginal revenue here, I'm gonna say 18 minus 10 equals $8. In other words, the change in total revenue from that second unit. And then for the third unit here, three times eight is 24, and 24 minus 18 is six bucks, aka that third unit is adding $6 to our total revenue. This is completely different than what we did with perfectly competitive firms because at all of these units, the perfectly competitive firm would just be selling at the market price. They don't have this power right here to sell at the price corresponding to the demand curve because they're price takers. But with monopolies, we have that power because of product differentiation. We're the only firm selling the good in the market. And in turn, our marginal revenue is downward sloping as we sell more units. And we can draw this marginal revenue curve like so right here. Notice that it's about half the slope, half the slope, I think that's the right way to say it. Oh, sorry, it's, it's the slope times two of the demand curve. And that's just because of the multiplication going on here when we compute the units times price. The marginal revenue curve just drops two times as fast as the demand curve. And it's not horizontal because monopolies are price makers. All right, I hope that helped a bit. Next up tomorrow, we're gonna to be covering the profit maximizing point for monopolies and why it's not just where MR equals MC. And then after that, I'm going over deadweight loss and price discrimination for monopoly. And if you like the way I explain microeconomics, I've got a website where I basically walk through everything I tutor you on in this class. My microeconomics cram has 95 core concept breakdowns for microecon. It takes about two hours to get through all of them. Free access, so if, if you could basically use me as your tutor for your final exam coming up, make sure to go check out my site.